four chefs, four courses, four weeks, but only one will be the next Mooney Cook-Off champion. This week, the chefs tackle an Italian cuisine. Well, we're at week three, and this week we are going to get on the plane, take it from Mexico, and go to Italy, country shaped like a boot. This week, Robin's got drinks, I've got the appetizers, and they're going to be a hit. Uh, Haley's got the main dish, and then Tyler's going to follow that all up with dessert. So, should be an extra special week, uh, a lot to look forward to here, and hope everybody likes this presentation. Uh, real quick, look at the size of this egg. Huge. Oh, reminds me of a joke. Do you know why eggs don't tell jokes? Because they'd crack each other up. <laughs> Hello everybody. Um, it was a nice hot summer day so I thought what would be a refreshing peach bellini. So I also wanted to put a little bit of hometown in it and so I used peaches from our local Manson orchard where Tyler works. I'm hoping maybe I get a brownie point for that and I hope you enjoy. So Robin did a great job on her first drink tonight. Um, it's right up my alley with that sparkling wine and the sweetness of the peach. Um, really good and a great start to our Italian cuisine night. For my second drink, this is one of Kevin's very favorite, a classic Italian aperitif, the Negroni. This Negroni is a classic. Robin really did a great job with this thing. Spot on. I paid 15 bucks for this at bars before. Not anymore. My wife can make them. I, on the other hand, would say I would never pay $15 for this anywhere. Um, it, <laughs> it tastes like I've been sitting in sagebrush all day and I need to check myself for ticks. So. Tonight's first appetizer, and yes, I've made two. You'll have to wait on that second one. But I made super chopped Italian salad. It's got pepperonis, hard salami, a couple different kinds of cheese, artichokes, olives for those who want them on the side. And I think everybody's really gonna enjoy this and it's gonna get them really set up for my next one, which is gonna knock them out. And by the way, do you hear the rumor about the butter? Nah, I don't want to spread that one. So, I don't know what I did earlier this week to piss off my dad, but I think he made this salad to spite me. I've got the appetizers, and they're going to be a hit. I've never even heard of a garbanzo bean. It looks like a peanut. It doesn't taste like a peanut. Um, with Italian this week, you think he would have played it safe and gone with a classic Caesar salad, which I love. But no, he made this... Uh, whatever you want to call it, but it's not doing it for me. Well, I actually thought Kevin's salad was very good. Um, it has a mixture of wonderful Italian things. I love all the meats and cheeses, and it has garbanzo beans and lots of other things. Um, so I thought it was delicious. So for my second appetizer, I made fried ravioli nachos italian style you talk about crossing between mexico and italy and doing it right for this challenge this is a knockout and by the way do you know how to make a tissue dance put a little boogie in it wow dad you redeemed yourself this is absolutely amazing you know, it's not super Italian, and it's a little bit more Mexican. There's guacamole, salsa, cilantro, but I don't care. It's amazing. I love it. 10 out of 10. Best appetizer, I think, so far. Delicious. Good job. So for our Italian entree tonight, we have homemade pizza. Um, the dough is made from scratch, and it's topped with a olive oil um, garlic blend to keep it from getting soggy and also add a little bit of flavor to the crust. 
Um, the sauce is a classic tomato sauce with a little bit of pesto mixed into it to give it a little bit more flavor. And then um, mozzarella and Parmesan cheese on top with some basil and oregano flakes. So, sitting here eating Haley's pizza for the main course for our Italian night and you know, I'll be honest, I'm not a crust guy. I don't like thick crust. I don't like pizza crust. And the crust is what's making this pizza delicious. I love the taste of it. It's thick and it just, it's so light, a bit crispy, and it's absolutely delicious. I've never had a pizza any place else that had a crust this good. It's awesome. Good job, Hank. Oh, pizza's great. But in case it's not, do you know how to fix a broken pizza? Tomato paste. Well, welcome back to week three. This week I had dessert, and let me tell you, it was a piece of cake. I made cannoli cheesecake straight from Italy with fresh ricotta cheese, chocolate chips with a little whipped cream on top, which is sure to be a treat. Okay, Tyler's dessert was incredible when he said cheesecake with no topping. It's white cheesecake, no strawberry topping, no syrup, none of that. I was like, oh God, I don't think I'm really gonna like this that much, but then I ate it. And oh my God, that graham cracker buttery crust was absolutely delicious. The cheesecake was delicious. And then the chocolate chips in there, I, it, it was incredible. I really like cheesecake. That's honestly the best I ever had. And did you hear about that explosion at Cheesecake Factory today? <laughs> there was nothing but debris. Coming to you live with a little bonus footage here from the HMR Garden. Having some issues with deer mainly. So I was thinking, I went, I went into town today and I'm like, hey, Maybe a scarecrow. Maybe a scarecrow scares away the deer and they want to eat my garden. So I asked them about it and they had one and its price was outrageous. I could not believe how much this scarecrow was. So I asked, what the heck? Why are they so much? And she said, oh, he won an award. A scarecrow won an award? You got to be kidding me. Said, no, he was outstanding in his field. I felt the same way. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, good point, good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. What is up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to Mooney Cookoff Week 3. Uh, your guest judge, Tanner Mooney, like always, coming in for the hot takes, the hotter spices, and the hottest food critic critiques. Uh, this week, I was a bit surprised. I'm not gonna lie. There are a few a few turns that that I wasn't expecting. Um, I guess I'll just dive right in. Um, uh, Mom's drinks. Uh, I couldn't really taste them, so it was pretty hard for me to make a judgment call on this one. But I think I'm gonna kind of side with Haley's opinions on this one. The first one seemed fine with the champagne or the sparkling wine or whatever that was. Um, don't know if I would have liked the second one, especially if she didn't like it. Overall, I'm not super sold on, uh, on Mom's Drinks for round three, but, I mean, she did what she could, given the fact that she only had one hip going into the game, so, overall, props to Mom. Dad's Garbanzo Bean Salad. I'm just not super sold on it. I don't know. It's probably the biggest question mark for me. That Garbanzo Bean Salad just didn't seem, it just didn't seem like it hit. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. I will say, though, his ravioli nachos seemed exquisite um i'm not quite sure how much they fit the italian theme though i think tyler was right and they were kind of a little more mexican um, but overall i thought it was a really nice blending of weeks two and three and um overall i think he's going to get a solid score Haley's homemade pizza i i think i think it swept the entire competition this week i mean homemade dough I think everything was homemade. It looked amazing. I love margarita pizzas. So overall, I think she did a fantastic job and really props to her this week. And then finishing it off with Tyler's cannoli cheesecake. I've only used cannoli oil. So that's the closest comparison I can have to his cheesecake. 
Um, with that being said, it doesn't sound too good for him, but um, I mean, I think everyone seemed to like it. I kind of uh, only saw a lot of uh, commentary from Dad this week, so it would have been nice to see uh, Mom or Haley talk about this one, but um, overall, I mean, I think they all did pretty good. I'm really excited for the Asian theme next week. Uh, I, I think they're going to pull out all the stops right here, and I think it's going to be a fantastic week, so... Um, I think me and Dexter, uh, Dexter, I mean, do you want, do you want to say anything about the food? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I felt the same way. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think he, su he summed it up pretty well. So, um, anyway, we're looking forward to next week. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you later. Tune in next week where our chefs tackle an Asian cuisine. <laughs>